Good morning. Today we are, we are going to study a new lesson. It is how do we use language for classroom function. I need some volunteers to pass to the front and write some ideas about this. Uh, Liz, please come to the front and write some ideas that you have about this topic. Uh, Linda, please. Any idea? We have some ideas, for example, exponents, functions, learning, learners' attention, chunks, and methodologies. Now we are going to see some lectures. About uh, some functions of the language. For example, here we have getting learners' attention. It is, for example, when teacher is getting attention at the beginning of a sequence. For example, for two main reasons or for uh, two different parts, like when we close an activity and also when we uh, look at when we begin or end an activity. For example, uh, the teacher wants to say, uh, please pay attention or look to the board. It is necessary to keep some short utterance uh, to get the learners' attention. For example, some phrases like pay attention or look at the board. Another is instructing. A teacher gives the learner instructions throughout the teaching process. Uh, it can be also, again, before they start an activity. Uh, at the end of the activity, as a remind, reminder of something, and here the language of instructions often uses the imperatives, like for example, open the book, uh, pay attention, close the door, and so on. Uh, well, dear students, we're going to continue with modeling. What is, what is modeling? In modeling, uh, the teacher models or gives a clear example of the target language. At this point, in this teaching sequence, um, here it is important <coughs> when the teacher models the class uh, to do it orally. So, <coughs> uh, so the, the teacher may say, uh, for example, uh, um, uh, repeat that, that word please. So the students are going to repeat. Uh, then um, in, uh, in modeling, uh, we can do it in, um, for writing too, uh, using the same, uh, the same uh, word. For Another fact is encouraging an instructor. Uh, learners are often uh, lacking in confidence <coughs> and shy about speaking uh, in, uh, about speaking in front of the class. So that that is something uh, we as teachers have to manage uh, or build every single day. So for that, uh, we can encourage them by using language, which makes them feel positive about what they can do or which re reduce their level of of anxiety. And so we can 
and we can say them what to do and in this way we are giving them instructions. Okay, we continue with the explanation about these bullies. We have another function that it is nominating. We use nominating for choosing and naming one learning to speak or do a particular task. For example, uh, I say, Jesse, Andrea, and Patricia, you are going to make a PowerPoint presentation about uh, password. Yeah, the reason that we nominate our students is for to get their attention when they are uh, doing another thing, to make them feel we, we know who they are. Another reason is to make sure that different learners answer in order to discuss any topic and they participate on it. So we have prompting. Prompting uh, means helping learners think of ideas or remember a word or phrase or what to do. When we prompt, we provide words, ideas, phrase, or even time to help the learner the learner continue or remember what to say. Uh, a good example is when we ask something, uh, our student, if they forget a word, the teacher in, is there in order to help uh, to conclude his or her ideas. Uh, the exponents that the teacher chose depend on the context, age, and level. We have two, two kinds of uh, or exponent, for example, formality and informality. In inform informality, when the teacher uh, calls someone uh, Mr. Urbutado, informality could be when the teacher says, Gabby, please answer. You can notice the difference between formality and informality. Yeah? After the explanation of the six functions, important functions, can you uh, come to the front and match, uh, you can choose any of them and match with the definition that we study. Yes? Uh, for example, um, please, Andrea. You can choose any of the functions and match with the correct definition that we have here. Only one. Yeah. Can you read, please, nominating? Nominating. Teacher wants everyone to listen and wants and there and that is that. Yes. Uh, thank you, Val. Can you read, please? Encouraging learners are often lacking in confidence and, and shy about speaking in front of the class. Thank you. Thank you, Gabriela. Can you read uh, this? Modeling. We say only what we want learners to repeat as the teacher does. Okay. Uh, Joba, please. Yes. Can you read the definition of getting learners' attention? Uh, to get their attention. Yes. Uh, Thank you, Liz. Can you read, please? From Prompting, we provide words, phrases, ideas, or even time to talk. Yeah. And the last one, uh, instructing with the teacher gives learners instructions through the teaching's words. <coughs> the front the front uh, and you the front <coughs> about um, 
Uh, you're going to um, explain that based on your experiences on the internships about the use of language. But you have to use the things that we presented today. So we are going to start with you, Joe. Um, um, <coughs> I can say that um, it is necessary to know some of the aspects that we did in class. Because, for example, as you said, modeling, it was like a um, important part in teacher's goal because he or she needs to um, share what he or she knows in order to let students learn. <coughs> So, Linda, uh, could you please tell us uh, some uh, cons about this? Mm, uh, for example, when... Uh, can you repeat the question? Uh, based on your experience on the internships, you're going to say the cons about the, the use of language for functions? Okay. Um, uh, the cons would be like, for example, that... Uh, <coughs> Uh, sometimes for the student it's, um, uh, it's difficult to, for them, the beginning of the, of the, um, uh, when, when they are learning English, for example, when the students, they, uh, they start with a new book, sometimes for them it's difficult to remember the basis of the, of the grammar in English. So sometimes I think it's important to make an, uh, a clarification of many of the of the rules of the grammar from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Very good. So uh, please, Erika, remember you you are the group of the cons. Um, yes, I think that it's an advantage of using a language word teaching functions is that students are going to be familiar with, with the language and use the language in all the situations and they are going to use examples with functions and also uh, make sentences with functions. Uh, thank you very much. So please, uh, Vale. When, when I when I used uh, the language with my with my students when I, I did the um, internships, I tried to to look for the words that they uh, understand better and according to their level. Also, uh, checking the register because we cannot talk like a, uh, with a, with a friend with the students. Uh, it's important uh, to to choose the the correct or appropriate words. Uh, to talk with them or also to teach them. Uh, that's, that's my opinion. Thank you very much. Well, <coughs> uh, please take out your books uh, and open it on page 184. So, uh, remember the, the topic, please? Yeah. Uh, let's go to page 189. Sorry. Please, uh, please, uh, read the instructions, please. TKT practice test 27. For questions 1 to 7, look at the examples of teachers' language in class, of elementary learners, and the three possible trainers' comments on the language listed, A, B, and C. Choose the trainers' comment A, B, or C, which matches the teacher's language. Okay, thank you. So, Andrea, please, the first one. The answer is A. You need to give your language better for this class. Very good. Uh, number two, please, uh, Mayra. Who can respond with the answer? Who can help me with the answer? Uh, letter C. That was a good example of eliciting help from peers. Very good. Uh, 
Very good. Uh, number three, three, please, Vicky. Now uh, we are going to do a brainstorming activity together and build a mind map, mind map on the board. Ready? That's uh, um, letter A. Are you sure? Uh, uh, C. Very good. How yes. Read please. Uh, how can you reformulate that so learners will understand? Very good. Uh, number four, please, Erika. Uh, listen. Now we read together. Um, it's letter B. Yes, <coughs> sure. Uh, Linda, please, number five. Now let's see. The family lived in a. You probably. Uh, uh, Hey, you can't even work this time. Yeah, very good. Uh, Jova, please, number six. <clears throat> Class, shut up. Werner is speaking. Mm, a little B. It's no. Yes, it, it is letter A. Please, please, uh, the last one. That's not the right answer. Try again. The question asks for three names. Letter A. Yes, please. Ah, your feedback was very useful. It helped the student understand what was wrong. Yes, very good. Finally, we have a reflection. Yeah, I'm gonna read you the first one. It is for Vicky. The first one. I don't need to think about the exponents I'm going to use in my lesson. I just say, what comes into my head, for example, when I'm explaining some language of setting up root work? What do you think about this comment? <coughs> do you agree, disagree? Can you give me your point of view? Thank you. Uh, yes. Um, I think uh, I, I don't agree because uh, here is clearly that the teacher uh, didn't plan something and, and she is only going to say things that comes into her head. But uh, the thing is that she has to explain with exponents and functions mm -hmm. the different topics in the, in the lesson. Yes, thank you. The next uh, question, uh, Lisa, please. Read and answer. My learners speak the same L1 as I do, so it's quicker and easier to set up activities, check understanding and things like that in the mother tongue. Do you agree or do you disagree? I disagree. Why? Uh, because a uh, teacher has to build up an environment uh, where they, where they, where puppets can practice their target language, so they cannot be using all the time their L1 uh, during the lesson. Okay, thank you. And Giovanna, the last one. Uh, I listened to an audio. I listened to an audio recording of one of my lessons. I noticed that I always use the same exponents. I don't think this is a good idea. What do you think about this? <coughs> um, um, the sometimes teacher, I totally agree. Sometimes teachers we tend to use the same vocabulary because we want to make, to have easier words to explain in the class. Um, but for advanced classes, they're not going to be challenging. Okay, very good. Thank you. That's all for today.